Hey guys, welcome back to another awesome tool video. This week, I wanna show you that you can get one of your favorite brands now, at least some of them, at Lowe's. How cool is that? And this week's tools are brought to you by the Lowe's Pro Brand Challenge. And I went to Lowe's this week looking for something that fits this channel. And for me, obviously, it's Knipex. When you go to Lowe's now, you'll actually notice in the electrical tools aisle, at least at our Lowe's, we have Knipex tools mixed in, obviously with their normal brands, their ideal and everything that they carry there, south wire and whatnot. But there are some red handles peeking out between some of the other packages. And I went and picked up three that I thought were upgrades to the, some of the things that I already have. Let's start with the most minor one. The little diagonal side cutters. These little diagonal cutters here, they have a nice angle to them there. And I want to say these ran me about $27 at Lowe's. And obviously, you know, using your card or whatever, you can get your 5% or 10% if you're a military veteran over there, which is nice. But I picked these up and just a nice little addition to the bag. If you ever have to get in, you know, next to something that's in a tight area, you don't have to get your hand jammed down in there to keep your blade straight. It'll come right in there at that nice little angle and get that done. This is the 7421-200s, and they are made in Germany, real Knipex, right off the shelf at the local blue shop. So anyway, that was kind of cool. Then, I've been wanting something for cutting some of the thicker cables. You know, this is primarily for copper and aluminum cable. Don't really use aluminum cable that much in what I do, but we do use copper cables. So, I picked up this pair of 8-inch cable shears, and these are the twin cuts where they're not the step cut that you've heard about. That's kind of the new thing, the little bitty pliers that uh, really cut way above their weight class. But this is the, the twin cut, and these have two two jaws here on the front. They have one here and one here. So when you're biting into a heavy cable, you can bite in and go through the insulation and outer layer with the front and then open up and finish your cut with a lot of pressure here at the back. So it's a two-step process, but you can cut up to 20 millimeter cable, which I believe, let me look, is 25, 30 seconds. I'm not good with those conversions off the top of my head. It's that is a lot more confusing than metric, right? 25, 30 seconds. It would take me a minute to actually picture in my mind what 25, 30 seconds is. Where 20 millimeter, that's a pretty good size little cable out of a very nice, compact little pair of pliers. Those are just fantastic little deals, aren't they? So these are just getting added to the bag. They're brand new. So just popped them out of the packages. We'll just show you. These are the packages. I just took them out. This is how they'll look, you know, hanging on the shelf at Lowe's. And then the third pair here, I've been using this pair of insulated linesmen's for a long time from Knipex. And I, these, have, these have been around the barn a few times. But they just don't have a whole lot of features compared to the new stuff that Knipex is doing. And they have these big bulky handles. And a lot of the work I do, I do not need insulated handles for. So these have now become part of my insulated tools bag for just when I need those. And I love my little slick grips. They just fit smaller in my bag. Everything, you have so much less bulk right through there. You can kind of see, look at that coming you know, toward you there, how much bigger you have to shove in there on the one side. But these have a fish tape puller right through here, if you can see that, you can put your fish tape through there, clamp down and pull using your handles. Really nice instead of actually grabbing it by hand, you know. And they also have a terminal crimper on these right here at the back. You can see that right here. It's got a lot of nice serrations in here, so it'll grip down on that real nicely. As well as, I was noticing looking at this, that if you look at these old ones, you can see the, the hatching here, the grooves that they put in the jaw. It's just straight across grooves. If you look in these new ones here, you'll notice it has cross hatching in there. So you can get some serious grip out of the tips of these. They, they do not have this secondary deal right here though. If you're looking at these, these pliers, you see how this has this extra different type of grip right here where you could grab a round object 
these do not have that. They're just a straight, nice jaw like that. So if you needed that little notch for something in particular, then you may want to know that. But overall, for grabbing your wires, getting that nice twist before your wire nuts go on, pulling your fish tapes, crimping your terminals on, all of those things, and it's still got a nice cutter on it. You know, I believe these actually say that you can cut hard wire to an eighth of an inch, medium hard wire to three sixteenths of an inch. So it's just a small wire cutter, you know, nothing, nothing like what you're gonna go to here, like your twin cut and all those. Just nice small wire with your, with your linesmen. Obviously we're all guilty of going too hard on them, but still very heavy made little pair of linesmen. Uh, check those out right there. Aren't those some classy looking little pliers? I, I really like those, and to know that they're just literally on the shelf at my local Lowe's, I might as well upgrade and walk right out with that instant satisfaction feeling, you know, so that was kind of cool for me. But I will have links down below to these. This was brought to you by the Lowe's Pro Brand Challenge, so if you use Lowe's or you're in a position to check it out, go see what Knipex your Lowe's is carrying. Maybe if we buy a bit from them, They'll start expanding the line, you never know. But for me, Lowe's is my primary local store. It's over 100 miles to a Home Depot. Don't know that Home Depot carries Knipex either. I believe they're really into Klein, and Klein is great as well. I know a lot of people out there really love their Kleins and swear by them. So totally understand that is major brand targeted towards electricians primarily. I am not an electrician. I general contractor over here so i do a lot of different stuff that's why you see me have so many of everything i really enjoy lowe's having these type of tools that i can just go get locally it's really nice it's not a large selection of of Knipex yet but it is really nice that they are trying hopefully they will get more and more of these in as they see people notice that they have them and can pick them up locally it's a pretty nice deal Anyways, thank you guys for being here and checking out what I got from Lowe's this week. Hopefully you guys are really enjoying getting out there and doing stuff with your tools. And we'll see you guys on the next video.